is Sister Zakia Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I would like to say good afternoon to the city council members, the media over there, and to my brother, Mayor Brandon Johnson, who we fought on some fronts together, and all those fronts we fought on together when I was with SEIU or anything else out there in the street, Brother Brandon, you have always been on the right side of history. That's why I campaigned for you and that's why I voted for you. That's why I encouraged others to vote for you because I knew and I felt in my heart you would be on the right side of history. And that meant including your people, descendants of enslaved Africans. Brother, you got to stop the buses from coming in. You just got to stop the buses coming in because it's hurting your people. I'm talking about descendants of enslaved Africans. We're hurting the things that our people been on the waiting list come for the immigrants are coming in, getting everything, and I don't have time to go into all of it because I have another concern. When I used to come down here under Harold Washington, and we were fighting Ed Burke, Vidoliak, and the rest of the haters of black people that sat in these seats down here. We had two Latino aldermen. We had Louis Gutierrez and Jesus Garcia. They never pushed a black woman around. They never voted against black people's issues. They never hawk held meetings behind Mayor Washington's back to form committees. They never tried to take black wards and black precincts. I thought we were on our way to a black and brown coalition. But you know what? I thought I'd see it under you. But you know what? Carlos Ramirez, he spoiled all of that. And it was disrespectful to every black man down there on that floor, including you, that he's comfortable enough to put his body in front of a black woman, you understand, and tell her what she can't do. Because she know ain't no strong black men down there that's going to confront him. He know his people got his back. I wish it had been me he pushed. But I'll just go on to say this. Something has got to be done. Because all black women, women ain't satisfied with Emma Mick's apology. And, and, and forgive. We, are, we ain't for it. But back to the buses, my brother, please. Coming from your elder. We've been talking. The elder's been talking. We're looking for, for you to help us on this issue. Stop the buses. Please stop those buses from coming in here. Will you please? Thank you. Please. Thank you, Sister Muhammad. Our next speaker is Chris Warden. <laughs> 